Hey, it's Ivana. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to talk about how long it takes to build a new habit. Now, you may have heard a little bit about this already, but today on my channel, I shall serve you the full tea. Literally tea because I like drinking tea, but also the truth for those of you not familiar with this lingo. Served in a cup with my name on it. Grab your own and enjoy this talk. You may or may not be familiar with this idea that it takes about 21 days or so to build a new habit. Where does it come from and does this make any sense? Where it comes from is a guy named Maxwell Malt, who is a surgeon from America. He is a plastic surgeon who discovered that people were taking about 21 days or so to get used to their new look, whatever that meant for them. From then, he wrote a book called Psycho-Cybernetics, which is a very complicated word. I don't even fully understand what it means, but in there, he shared his findings. And from then on, somebody took this idea that it takes about 21 days to get used to something new and extrapolated that it must mean it takes 21 days to get used to all things new, aka our habits, which he was not working on habits. He was working on people's bodies. So technically, there isn't as much of a correlation there. However, we took this and we ran with it. In comes my girl Philippa Lally, or Pippa Lally, as one would actually shorten that name. She is a researcher from the UK, Hala Girl Power, and she was the one that actually did a little bit more research on behavior and habit stuff that makes a little bit more sense for us. And what she did is she tested how long it took for a habit or behavior to become as automatic as it was going to get. Because let's face it, not everything becomes completely autopilot for us. And what she found was that it's actually not 21 days. Brace yourself, it's actually a little bit worse. For habits that are very simple and quick to pick up, it can take up to 18 days to get used to it, and it can take all the way up to 254 days for the ones that are a lot more complicated. On average, it's actually about 66 days. A little depressing, I know, but it's the truth. Like I said, that's what I'm here to do for you. Now, out of that, she was breaking apart what actually constitutes getting things more automatic, which really is how we develop habits. And she found that it's not really the amount of days that it takes, it's the amount of repetitions. So depending on what your habit is, if it's something that can be performed multiple times a day, it's really about getting the repetitions in. So the more repetitions you can get in, the faster you can build your habit. So if you're with me, you see what I'm trying to tell you. It's really not about how long it takes in terms of days. It's more about how quickly can I get all the reps in. Second question is you're like, well, how, if I get all my reps in, what if I have to take a break sometime? Can I take a break? Yes, you can. We often go with this idea that you can't take any breaks. It's all or nothing. And if I can't perform everything perfect every single time, you start falling off. Truth is you don't actually lose your progress until you've actually been taking off more than two days in a row, because then you start kind of falling backwards. So if it's two days or less while you're trying to solidify your behavior, it's actually you're still in the green. So that means you can repeat as often as you can or as you want, work in a break here or there, because you know, one gets tired of trying to climb all the way to the top. So take a breather, chill. And you should still be able to keep up and get to where you want to go. The last thing to keep in mind when you're trying to set up a behavior or get those repetitions in, the more stable things are, as in the less things are changing around you as you're trying to implement your habits, or the, as you're trying to get the repetitions in, the easier it's going to be for you to get through those repetitions faster. Because every time something's a little bit different, you have to think again. So the more stable you can keep your entire environment, the quicker it's going to be for you to get through your habits. So. 66 days or not, we can do things to help ourselves. So keep in mind the things I have mentioned to you. Now, if this is news to you, again, hope this is useful. If you already knew this and let me know how you've been implementing is, how have you been kind of cutting the corners and making it a little bit easier for yourself to remember to get those reps in. Um, share with me on the bottom. If you like this video, like and subscribe to this channel and I'll be hitting you up with Mo too.